All right, back to the hotel. Uh, since that video, I ended up getting new upper and lower control arms, uh, spring perch, spring, uh, the cracks in the shock towers uh, were on both sides. So drilled holes at the top, bottom of the cracks, weld the cracks, and then took some four mil plate, uh, made a cardboard template and welded that plate in. And then I ended up welding the inside of the shock tower mount. So all that's welded is front and back, both sides. Uh, ended up welding the whatever this subframe connector guy welding that in and I didn't want to do a Fox 2 or whatever Mustang 2 conversion so I'm keeping it stock all around the rear end I ended up just keeping the 280 gears new axle bearings and differential bearing uh, painted it cleaned it out I didn't touch the pinion bearing or the crush sleeve uh, they seem okay but we'll see I can always take it out and redo it again <clears throat> as for the interior it's still the same uh, haven't touched it yet. Camera's all dirty. Uh, but, oh, I think I got a glare. Uh, I ended up just using some metal filler in those holes. With new lower control arm, all new bushings up front. The spindle is going to be the same stock spindle, but new bearings will hub bearings for the front uh, torsion bars new bushings there nothing has changed in here yet I'm still working on the car uh, just working on the back and I'm just doing some plate I'm not no super fabricator but cut some tin there and sheet metal and weld that in I'm going to have to go in and Fix all this little rusty parts. Same goes for this side. Rusty parts. Motors still the same. Nothing changed. Yeah. See so yeah, a new upper, lower control arms. Just gonna redo all that brand new stuff. Let's get on this piece of shit here. So for underneath, I ended up scraping off all the sound deadener, tar that was up under here. All of that shit. That was a lot. Go figure, right? Uh, scraped it all off. Sanded it with 80 grit. Wiped it down. And then put some self-etching primer on it and then I'll use that sound deadener should I use on the firewall uh, under here it should be fine it should be just fine but that's underneath ended up uh, there goes the control arm upper control arm this guy did have a crack in here uh, so I ended up having to weld all of that right there, both sides. Just welded all up. Same thing went for this side. This side did not have a crack here, but it was a little cracked on these guys. So I just ended up just saying, fuck it, weld it. All of that up. You probably can't see, but. Only problem I have now is uh, a little zerk fitting, how close it is to that 
shock tower on the other side. I might end up just tapping into the top because I can't put a 90 zerk on there. If I were to drill a hole in the back so I can have access to the zerk, on this side we'll have a problem with the steering control box because it's like right there and the box goes here. So I think I might just try tapping a hole into that cap and go from there. So pretty much all this is all primed up, sanded down, primed up, ready to go. This fucking little skate baby sucks balls. Uh, wheel well is pretty much. I'm doing some metal filler bondo here. She's good. If I have a problem, I'll just get some metal filler bondo and call it good. But paint the underside black. Waiting on U bolts to come in for the leaf spring, for the new leaf spring bushings. And that is the car as we speak. Hey, my feet. No other updates, but we're yeah, just working on the trunk. The goal is to get it on the ground so I can move it back over to the other side and then I can wheel it in and out. Once I get it back on the ground, well, I want to get the undercoating on first. Put the suspension parts back on, get it on the ground. I'm just uh, having second thoughts on these tires I bought. 200 bucks on Amazon or Craigslist, whatever, marketplace. Well, these are some slotted mag 15 inch, but those are fucking 10 inches wide. My big old dick beaters, 10 inch tires. Something like that. And these are the 14s that came off the car. Literally go like that. This guy cannot even. And that would be the rear. But yeah, just the hardest part was trying to figure out the template and welding that in and making sure I got all the cracks taken care of. This is one there, Scott Drake, uh, one inch drop spring, uh, Scott Drake perch, uh, doorman upper and lower control arms. Uh, I like it that it has the Zerk fitting there. Only problem is like if this ball joint goes bad I have to drill it out because these bad boys are studded on there but they're like 40 bucks so I can redo them once I get this on the ground then I can decide engine well I need to get brake lines and all that taken care of too so I'm not working around the engine with the brake lines look at that surprise right there what a surprise Yeah, so pretty much it's, you know, all good stuff. So next will be getting it back on the ground. Well, undercoating it with this fucking gallon shit. I'm gonna end up emailing Amazon that my package was leaking so I can get a replacement. Yep, that's a little update. Cheer! All right, so here's the car. I haven't filmed much, but it's back on the ground. Uh, so far, what I do since last time? Oh, I cut all this out. Cause it was full of rust 
put new plating in, uh, use the weld or metal filler bondo, hit it with the metal filler bondo all up in there, this whole piece, and then uh, coated it, then welded this back on, on both sides. So that's all sealed now. Uh, started sanding a little bit of the body just to see where I need to hit it with body filler areas. Back window, same thing. This is all jacked off. And uh, yeah, that's the progress so far. She is sitting up. That's for the uh, rear. Rear shocks. Uh, use the KYB KG something gas adjust shocks. Uh, new U bolts and bushings and all that fun stuff. So the car sits up. Minimal squish. I want to. I want it tight. I want it to have no body roll. It's gonna sit up. It seems a little high off the ground, but it's all good. It's all good. Looking at the front of it, uh, it is a half inch higher on that side from the ground. So the car is sitting a little like that, half inch for measurements, but all in all, it's fine. I'll have to figure out the toe caster, all that, once I get the motor in. And I think I can have the toe, okay, that's if the wheels are aligned. I gotta get the uh, tie rods in and that'll help straighten them up. Uh, but so far it is, Undercoating is done. That's the whole friggin' car underneath undercoated. The whole thing. The all new upper lower control arm spring perch. This is the Scott Drake roller spring perch. Uh, Scott Drake one inch lower spring. Dorman control arms, new bushings. I kept the factory spindles, but use new wheel bearing, wheel seal. Rear axle is new wheel bearing, pinion bearing. I'm sorry, carrier bearing. I didn't touch the pinion bearing at all. Uh, new bushings in the back. I ended up drilling out this hole on top just to bring up the shackle closer before the shackle was here and that gave me like at least three fingers of play i don't know three inches three fingers hey so it's a little closer i bring the back down a little but the 275 60 15s are a meaty ass tire i mean kind of huge whole thing itself is just off the ground but once I get it dialed in a little more I need to get front front shocks I'm gonna go with the gray shocks and that would be that get the window seal and then uh, then I can start throwing the motor and trans in I'm gonna figure out motor trans combo or it's already there but Yeah, that interior. Got to seal the gas tank. I'm deciding if I want to get a new fuel tank or keep this original one. I still have to do a fuel tank uh, restoration pour. And all the parts in the buckets will start coming out. That's for the power master rack and pinion. Uh, let's get the, the seals for that. Bendix, 
get new seals and then power steering will be good. I still gotta get, you know, tie rods and it goes all the chrome, all the dash. Yeah, it's in parts, but it's coming together. I uh, ended up taking a freaking 220 grit, 120 grit to the wheels. Instead of chrome, I gave it like a brushed nickel look. I don't give a shit. It's fine. It is fine. But yeah, it's come together. That's my update.